This is the Nightcore Top, or TUP, an innovative, feature-rich EDC keychain flashlight. If you're interested in hearing more about it, keep watching. So before we get started, I just want to declare that this flashlight was sent to me for testing and review, and I did not pay for it. However, I'm receiving no compensation for the making of this video or from the sale of any of these flashlights. I also want to mention that this is a bit unique in that it was not sent to me by Nightcore. It was actually sent to me by a flashlight distributor out of China who handles a number of brands, but wanted to send this flashlight to me for testing. All right, now what we're going to do, as always, we'll go down to the tabletop. I'll go over the physical and performance specifications for this flashlight. I'll go over its modes of operation and of course then we'll do some testing. Before we go over the key features and specifications for the Nightcore top, let's just have a quick look at what it came with. So this is the box that it came in and this is the operational manual with warranty information. And the only other thing it came with is this small carabiner type clip that attaches to the flashlight. And I'll show you how that works in a moment. So let's bring the flashlight back in. So this is different than anything I have owned or tested before. So let's just do a few of the key features before we get into the specifications. It has an IP54 or 54 rating and a one meter impact resistance. It comes in with a 1200 milliamp battery that is built in and is non-changeable. It has two user modes. It has a daily user mode for longer illumination times uh, and it has a demo user mode for shorter illumination times. And the difference being that if you hit one of the modes, turn the flashlights on while it's in demo, it'll only last for a short period of time and then turn itself off. So maybe a bit of a safety so you don't use the flashlight too much, but most people will probably be using it in the daily mode so that they can use it for as long as they feel the need to. It has two electronic lockout modes, kind of unique. I'll talk more about those in a few minutes. It has a real-time constant battery level and voltage display. I don't think I know of another flashlight like this that has that. It has a real time display, a looming set, lumen settings, and the time remaining if you hold it at that lumen setting. It has a keychain or lanyard attachment, and this is where that little uh, carabiner type thing comes in. And, you know, when I looked at that, I thought, oh, you know, that's, that's not very strong. Well, it's rated to hold 30 kilograms, so <laughs> I think that's plenty strong for anything I'll probably be attaching it to. It does have a deep carry pocket clip, which I can tell you is exceptionally strong, almost to a fault. And with that, you could attach it on the brim of a hat and use it as a uh, nightlight or a headlamp. All right, let's go over the specifications for this flashlight. So the overall length of the flashlight is 70.3 millimeters or 2.76 inches. The size, and uh, it's not quite square, but it's pretty much square, is 29.5 millimeters or 1.16 inches. And the weight is 53.2 grams or 1.87 ounces. As far as performance specifications for the Nightcore Top, it has a turbo mode of 1,000 lumens, which will last for 15 minutes and has a beam distance of 180 meters. It has a high level of 200 lumens, which will last for three hours and a beam distance of 75 meters. It has a medium of 65 lumens, which will last for nine hours, 45 minutes with a beam distance of 46 meters a low of 15 lumens lasting 19 hours and a beam distance of 22 meters and finally an ultra low of one lumen lasting 70 hours with a seven meter beam distance. I think it's interesting to note here that there is no step down in the turbo mode. It'll just straight last for 15 minutes. All right, let's go through the modes of operation for the Nightcore Top. I will give you some close-ups of 
the display in a few moments time I just want to take a moment to talk about how the two buttons on the display side of the flashlight operate so it's this top button up here that allows you to access turbo and you can access turbo from either the on condition or off condition simply by pressing down and holding on to that button and when you release it turns turbo off now there is a power button this button here is referred to as the power button when you if you want to access the ultra low press down and hold and you will access ultra low turn it off again now let's just turn the flashlight on and it is the top button that allows you to move through the lumen settings and so you just press once press again press again and you'll cycle back down to the lowest setting. All right, I'm gonna give you some close-ups of the display and talk about what it is you're looking at. All right, I'm gonna to try to show you how the display operates without blinding myself, because of course I have to face the flashlight upwards towards me. So we start by turning the flashlight on, and as I mentioned, it'll come on in whatever the last mode or the last lumen setting is. And you'll see on the display, it shows you two things. First thing it shows you is what level you are in, what the lumen setting is, and then what the remaining time for that uh, lumen setting will be. So let's move up to that was, uh, we'll turn it off and turn it back on again so that you can see this is in level one. And it tells you how much time we have left, 57 hours, 53 minutes. Let's move up to level two of 15 lumens. We have 15 hours, 59 minutes left. Moving up to level three, we have uh, eight hours and four minutes. I'm trying to read this upside down. And then level four, which is 200 lumens, we have two hours and 30 minutes left. All right, a couple more features of the Nikkor Top. One I mentioned already is the battery level indicator. So while the flashlight is turned off, if you short press the mode button, you'll see the battery strength sh uh, show up. It doesn't stay on very long, of course. Now, I also mentioned that there is a lockout button. So to access the lockout, you first have the flashlight turned on. If you hold the button down, you'll see it shows lockout, in this case, lockout one, and again, it didn't stay illuminate for very long. What lockout one does is denies you access to the different lumen settings with the exception of turbo. So while I'm in lockout one, I still have access to turbo, which is kind of nice. Now, to cancel the lockout, you do two presses of the uh, power button, a short press and a long press, and you'll watch it unlock. So one, two, and you'll see it unlocks and then it will turn on to whatever the last lumen setting you had before you locked it. Now, if you wanna access lockout two, you hold that, turn the flashlight on, hold the button down, you'll see it register lockout one. If you hold it longer, lockout two. Now, when you've reached lockout two, you've locked out not only the lumen settings, but turbo as well. Again, to unlock it, you press once short and then hold, once short and then hold, and it will turn the flashlight back on. And finally, I'll demonstrate how you move between the daily mode and demo mode. Again, demo mode only allows the light to be illuminated for 30 seconds at a time. So it's a good battery saving measure, but the daily mode is what most people will use. In order to move between the two, you press down on both buttons for a period of time and you will see it display on the screen which mode it is in and then go off again, and if you want to switch back, and now we're back into the daily mode. All right, only one thing left to do, which is to do some demonstrations with the Nikkor top. So we'll do two set of tests, first inside of my house in my gear room downstairs. So this is one lumen. This is 15 lumens, enough to navigate, not enough to do anything, uh, any work of any type. 65 lumens, a fair amount of light and 200 lumens can see clearly all over the room and let's just turn the turbo on to see 1000 lumens yes that is bright all right so i'm outside next to my house and i wanted to show you what the beam pattern would look like so this is one lumen at about 15 feet distance 15 lumens 65 lumens 200 lumens now i will put on the turbo 
but of course the camera compensates for it. So I'm going to take it down to one lumen again, cast into the backyard, so about 65 feet distance at one lumen, 15 lumens. Now we're starting to see a little bit of light here at that, at 200 lumens, pretty good. Actually, I can see her all around my backyard and at 1000 lumens, it literally just lights up the whole backyard nicely. So what are my final thoughts on the night core top? Well, let's talk about the things I like first. So one of the things I really like is that it has good lumen settings, especially for the size of this flashlight. A thousand lumens on turbo is significant for a very small flashlight like this. I'd like that it has a real time battery display so I know how much power I, ha I have left. I like that for each lumen display, it tells me how much time I have left at that setting as well. The other thing I think I like about and I didn't realize was going to be as strong as it was is that little keychain loop on the bottom of this making it a much more stronger flashlight for attaching to things than I had originally assumed. I'd like that I can attach it to a hat and use it as a headlamp however this is also one of the cons. That same clip that allows me to attach it to my hat is almost too strong to operate. I find just that putting it in my pocket that it takes a bit of manipulation to get it to slide down into my jeans and hold on again. Now once it's there it's not coming out of my pocket and it does sit very deep. It's just it's a very very stiff flashlight. A few other things about this it's only an IP54 rating so that's that's not bad but it's not as high as some flashlights will give you. It's similar to what you'll get in most headlamps so it's okay if it gets a little wet from rain if it gets splashed on but it's not going to take submersion. Now I don't expect I will have that in a situation where it'll be submerged underwater for any length of time. So I don't think that's a big negative. It's just something to be aware of. The other thing is being a bit of an older technology, it still is, well, this one is still is designed to use that micro USB charging port. And there's the charging port because I don't think I showed that earlier. That's a relative con. It just takes a little charge, uh, longer to charge than a USB type C port does. So maybe Nikkor will update this flashlight uh, with a USB type C at some point. And the final thing, and I know that a number of people will probably see this as a con, is that the battery, while it is a good battery and should last a good long time, it's non-replaceable. So once the battery is gone, I don't know if you can send it back to Nikkor for replacement or purchase one and then have to uh, disassemble the, the flashlight to put the battery in. That I'm not too sure about. Okay, those are my thoughts on this flashlight. I, I do like it. I do carry it. It is small. It is convenient and it is very capable. I will be putting all the specifications and modes of operation and everything else in the video description below. I'll also be putting a link to the flashlight distributor who did send this flashlight to me in case you're interested in checking out his website. But if you have any questions or any comments, please put those in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.